Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel guys. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and mash that, smash that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And don't forget to make sure that you join the chatterbox. The link is in the description box uh, where I do exclusive live streams and videos just for doll collectors and, you know, just us. Um... The <laughs> if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at Miss Serenity underscore Smith. Also, I have merch and you can get that. You will see that in the description box as well, if not up under the video. Anyway, um, today I am showing Baby Winter. Baby Winter is the Louisa Sculpt by Lillian Breedville. She is um, poured by Claire Teller. Um painted by myself soon will be rooted by me and I just wanted to show her up close she has had her final makeover um I think I do have to hit like maybe one or two places on her back but other than that she is completely done this is her official skin tone here I did give her a little bit more color not much just to bring everything all together I just felt like she was just missing that little little bit to push her over the edge I did a lot of little uh, little tiny little subtle um, add-ons to her and you probably can't see them all in the camera and you probably won't be able to tell this unless you're looking at her from if you've seen her like in person but some of you guys may realize um, I'm going to start with her lip color I went in and I deepened her lip color and changed it because I just I liked her lip color, but it was a, just a little too plain Jane for me, just a little too soft. And it just, I don't know, it was just something, it just gave me that blah feeling. And I love painting lips, so I like for my baby's lips to be like, my lip gloss popping, yeah, <laughs> you know, type thing. Um, I did go in and give her the million dollar milk bumps barely I don't even want to call them milk bumps it's just like you know how the, the babies have a little bit of baby like their little skin be a little bumpy on their on their nose a little bit but I don't I don't say milk bumps because the milk bumps are a little more like milky white yellowy she bumpy like I didn't really give her so much of that so per se um but you can only see them they're very tiny so you can only see them and feel them in person i think i may be able to capture them at some point in a picture a little bit but yeah um and then i did give her a little bit of bruising on her face and i you know i just went in and gave her a little bit of more like little color maybe in her chest or stuff like that just little things to just make her just come more alive um so I didn't want to bother her hands too much because I really loved her hands, but I did go in her wrist a little bit. So I'm going to see if I can see what you guys can see. And as I try to show you, like, for instance, um, oh, and I did model her head a little bit more because, you know, in the beginning it was just like plain, just white, white or whatever. But I don't know, like, if you can see, like, she has a little bruising, like pressure marks, you know, baby when they come coming out in delivery sometime they get a little pressure marks and stuff like that um she does have i did give her that little milk you know the little milk bump on the top of her lip right there that's a little different i did change her tongue color living in down south it's dang on flies i see a fly um her you know tongue color changed a little bit so i you know, just subtle things, you know, a little bit more color in her wrist. Um, just little things. Of course, because she got a little bit more color everywhere else, you know, I deepened her, her navel um, a little bit color. And, you know, of course, she got more. Oh, wait, you guys can't see that. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see where my camera is. All right, let's see. All right. So... As I was saying, I, I, um, hang on. So I went in, like I said, on her wrist a little bit and, you know, did some coloring in there just a little bit, very subtle. 
and like I was saying just you know her little modeling of course had to get a little bit more deeper because she went a little darker so I wanted to make sure that that was still like accentuated so yeah and so I didn't bother her feet um, I did however do a little bit more color on her ankle but I didn't bother her feet because I absolutely loved her feet and so I just thought that would not be a smart idea to change that when I already really liked it so that's all the really subtle details she still need a good bath but um yeah so that's that's pretty much it now I'm going to adjust the camera so we can get her dressed and even though I still feel like she needs her hair to really wear this outfit I'm going to put it on her anyway um because I, be, I just want to see how she fits it. Um, I got a headband, you know, to see. But, you know, one of the things that... This is, like, one of my favorite Lillian sculpts. So, I try to pick the favorite ones, like, you know... Um, you know, between Lillian Breville and Claire Teller, when they do their kits and their, their babies or whatever, I tend to go, try to go after my favorite ones. Um, sometimes it's like I like something about one, but I don't like something else about it, and I'll just pass on it. But this one, I loved her hands. This hand in particular, just really, really, uh, I just love it. It's very dainty, very beautiful. And, you know, Lillian sometimes do, you know, big hands. This hand is, these hands are not big. They're very baby-like. Her, You know, this fist is really nice. It's just... I just thought the sculpting on, on this baby was just beautiful. And the feet, oh my gosh, I love the way she sculpted her feet. And her body style is nice. And she just she just flowed nicely. Very proportionate. And so I just thought that this would be the girl for me. And um, I am so happy that I have her. She is a keeper baby. Um, she's not for sale. I don't think she will go up for sale. Um, I just love, like, her silicone is so, so yummy. <laughs> it's, you know, it's really soft. And I just think that, um, you know, guys, y'all know I love Claire Silicone um, in her kits and her dolls. I haven't had one of her dolls in a very long time. But I love the uh, kit pour. It's just super soft. And it just feels not spongy, but very realistic to touch um so i really love that about her silicone um so any chance i get to get one poured by her that i like i really just go for it it's just it's just my thing now um one thing about uh winter is she does have the drink and wet system which is nice and um i am going to give her a bottle so I'm going to get her on this little rumper and we're going to see how she looks in this rumper with her little sandals. I'm so happy. I, I took out her eyelashes um, and I took off her eyebrows. So I'm going to save all that for last because I really want to do her eyebrows to where it doesn't look make her look as mean um and i think the eyebrows can really like control that a little bit more because i noticed she looks a little bit more relaxed without the eyebrows now so that means when i put eyebrows back i have to be you know careful how i put them and then also like her eyebrows and the way i do her hair it's gonna have to be very well thought out so i don't know so i'm having to order like some more matting powder and stuff like that so i can work on luca and i'm just you know enjoying everything right now i've been like having a blast laughing and talking with some of the other you know my collector friends um 
you know, it's like at one point I felt like I was losing my collector side and not getting to really enjoy, you know, the the collector side of things. And now I actually am getting back into it and we're all like picking out what babies we're going after. So I brought some, um, some uh, headbands, but I don't know what color. Cause I was like, this is close to the color of the outfit. This is the color, close to the color of the wooden buttons. And this is the color of the orange that's inside the flowers. I think this might actually clash a little bit, but let's see. Let's go ahead and put her sandals on. Um, these are her little sandals that she's going to wear, her little jellies. So let's put those on her first because that's easy. We don't have to guess on that. And which way does it go? So, oh yeah. So that clicks there. Okay. All right. Them, they're too big, I think. Oh well, she's still gonna wear them. Come on, fucker. I don't, as you guys know, I don't really usually put my babies on shoes, but I had these back, I think, for Jade. Alright, let's see. All right, so she got on her little slide. Now, I'm gonna try this one first. I don't always like headbands, but let's see. So that's that. Now I don't know, do you supposed to cover up the ears? I hate covering up the ears. Or like this, or should it be in the front like that? I don't like it in the front, I like it to the side. Okay, so that's that color. Let's try this color. I don't think the orangey orange is gonna work at all. So it's gonna be out of these two. This is why she has to get hair. My normally some babies I don't mind not having hair. Like Memphis, he's fine without hair. Um, my twin B, which is Christian, he's okay without hair. But she is one of those babies that just for me, she just gotta have hair. Okay, let's see. I'm kind of. I think I'm kind of going with the more neutral because it's not too bold. It's not drawing a lot of attention to her. I think this is going to be the look for me. I think the angle of the camera for you guys may not be working. But in person, I I want to say this is, this is the one. And I could probably take you guys some pictures. Let me see. Like, see, I think this is the one because it matches her buttons. It's not like overbearing. So, what you what you talking about, girl? So, yeah, I like that. So anyway, guys, so tell, let me know in the comment section if you if you can tell a difference in winter um, skin tone or if you like her new lip color and what do you think about this whole outfit. She's definitely going to wear it when she gets her hair rooted and I definitely think um, she will do be so much better with hair. I don't think I'm going to go with red hair. Um, I was thinking about it. I think I am going to go with a brown. Um, but I think I'm going to go with a, a darker brown. And maybe a wavy hair. Um, curly. I don't know. She don't give me curly baby vibes. 
um, it would either have to be straight or wavy, like a slight wave type thing. Maybe a little longer at the top so we can put a little clip there or something. I don't know. But that's, that's summer. That, I keep saying summer. It's winter. <laughs> All right, let me see. What you, what you, what you. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.